Hi, it's Tina, and today we're going to be making wind chimes. For this activity, you're going to need some string to hold your wind chime, some beads, string to put your beads on, a stick that you can find around your house, paint brushes, paint, and some water. So first we're going to take our stick and we're going to paint it. You can use any paints that you would like or you can use markers. You might want a plate for this. Um, I don't have one, which is okay. I chose a surface that I can kind of get dirty. And once you've painted your stick to how you would like it, then we can move on to beading. When I have my beads, I'm going to take one and put it to the end so that they don't fall off. So I'm going to stick the string through and tie a small knot. You might need some help with this. Oh my goodness, I might need some help with this. And then you can put whatever beads you want on. I have some big ones, I have some smaller ones, and I even have a little bell so it can start making some noise when it's in the wind. Once your stick is dry and you've beaded all your beads, you're going to tie them onto your wind chime. And the same thing, you might, if you're going to want to make a knot, you might need some help with this part too. And make sure it's nice and tight so that they don't fall off. They can get pretty gusty in Maine. Once you're done stringing your beads, you can tie your other string that you had set aside to make your hanger for your wind chime. And you can use any yarn for this or you can use twine or rope. Just make sure it is on securely. And there you go. Now you have your wind chime and you can choose any place in your house or outside to hang it. I like hanging mine outside my door so I can see, see it and hear it nice in the morning. 